Welcome to our course, Audit a Financial Model with McAbacus. Given the importance of financial models in the decision-making process, it's absolutely critical that the model instills confidence in all the stakeholders that are reading through the model. One of the fastest ways that we can instill confidence in the stakeholders is by having a model with clean and intuitive formatting. Obviously, the quality of our model needs to extend way beyond formatting. We need to make sure the model has formulaic integrity. After all, if one of the stakeholders finds an error in our model, they will very, very quickly lose confidence in the model. In fact, they will actually lose confidence in all the models that we've built over a period of time. We really can't stress how important this is to just do a quick check of the numbers just to make sure that they make sense before leaving the schedule and moving on to the next one. Now, we already know that we have perfect consistency left to right in this schedule, so we only need to check one column. We have $58 million of revenue here, $30 million of costs, so it makes sense that we have $28 million in gross profit. If we then subtract off $6 million of sg &A, and $2 million of other, that leaves us with $20 million of EBITDA. We're going to subtract $4 million of depreciation to be left with $16 million of EBIT. And moving down the income statement, we can see that $1.2 million in interest expense leaves us with $14.8 million in earnings before tax. And one thing that you'll notice on this income statement is that we're always marking unfavorable items as negatives, which is a convention that we highly recommend because it makes it very clear which items are favorable or unfavorable to the company. So when we get down here, we can see that the total tax of 3 million is obviously unfavorable to the company. But then when we highlight net income, we can clearly see a problem. The company had $14.8 million of earnings before tax. We should be reducing that by $3 million to get the correct net income number here. So let's pop into this cell down here for net income. Tap F2 and we can see the issue right there. We should actually have a plus sign in here like that. So we're adding these two cells together. Let's hit enter and then hit control shift R for a fast fill right. So by making sure that we check the model diligently from end to end, we're going to ensure that the stakeholders maintain their confidence in our abilities. And ultimately, our models end up getting used in the decision making process and they start gaining traction within the organization. We're going to take you for a quick tour through this model that we're going to be auditing in this course.